Welcome, little stars. Looking very nice and bright this evening. Oh, thank you, old star. We've been working on our shining. Good job. And of course, this is a really great night for us to look our best. Why is that? Because it's Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Sure. Uh, what's Christmas? You don't know what Christmas is? Oh, that's right. You just know it up. You are brand new stars. This is your very first Christmas. Yes, is it your first Christmas too? Who, me? Oh no, I've seen over 2,000 of them. Wow, 2,000? Is that a lot? Well, no. It's not a lot in star years. There are lots of stars older than me, but I'm old enough to tell you about the first Christmas <laughs> and to explain why we're still celebrating, even after all these years. Oh, please do. We want to hear all about it. Okay. But before I do, we have to go back a little, before the first Christmas. How far back? Not far, about a year. And we have to travel to a place called Nazareth. <laughs> Ooh, who's the pretty lady? That's Mary. She is lovely, isn't she? Mary is a virgin, and she is pledged to be married to a man named Joseph. He is. Joseph is a carpenter. He is also a righteous man. What's he doing? Building something. Carpenters are always building something. I hope it's pretty. <clears throat> I think you're getting ahead of our story. Who's that other guy? He's all shiny like us. That's Gabriel. He's an angel. He's come to talk to Mary. Listen. Greetings. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with the child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of Father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. What does all that mean? It means that Mary is going to have a baby who is the Son of God. Mary looks confused. She's confused because she doesn't know how this is going to happen. And how is this going to happen? <laughs> Keep watching. Gabriel will explain. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. But that's not how these things usually happen. <laughs> no, this is very special. Listen. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who said to be barren in six months, for nothing is, is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. What did Mary say? She said yes. Oh, good. Now what? I like Mary. She seems really nice. Oh, she is. They tell me that after the angel left her, Mary hurried to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for a few weeks and then returned home to Nazareth. But by now, it was more obvious that she was going to have a baby. Uh-oh. What did Joseph have to say? What could he say? He knew that Mary's baby wasn't his. But Joseph was a righteous man, and so he decided to put her away privately. Hey, look at all those people. They're all staring at Mary and pointing at her. They're whispering, too. What are they saying? We probably don't want to know. <laughs> but Mary didn't do anything wrong. I know that. And you know that. But nobody else in our hometown knew that. Poor Mary. Why doesn't somebody do something? Watch. Somebody will. God is going to do something. <laughs> Not long after Joseph had decided to put Mary away, where she would be safe. God sent angels speak to Mary. dream. Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. The prophet Isaiah had foretold this many years before, saying, The Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. 
And if you translate the word Emmanuel, it means God with us. Wow, that's a great name. What did Joseph do when he woke up? He did just what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He took Mary home as his wife. Oh, so what happened next? Next, there was a little drama that went on in Rome. The Roman ruler, Caesar Augustus, ordered that everyone in the countries under his rule had to be counted. Why would they do that? Something about taxes, whatever those are. But in order to be counted, everyone had to go back where their family was from originally. Sort of like a family reunion? A little bit, but without all the games with potato salad. <laughs> That's too bad. I love potato salad. <laughs> Cookies? I love cookies too. <laughs> I don't think so. Then it really wasn't much like a family reunion at all? No, it wasn't. In fact, for Mary and Joseph, it was a pretty long and difficult trip, especially now that Mary was expecting a baby. Where did they have to go? Well, first you have to know that Joseph belonged to the house and the line of King David. Ooh, a king. Wow, that's really cool. I bet the king was born in a big, beautiful palace. Is that where Joseph and Mary went? No. Actually, King David wasn't born in a palace. Before God chose David to be the king, he was a young shepherd boy from a little town called Bethlehem. So Joseph had to go back to Bethlehem, the town of his ancestors, King David? Right. Wait a minute. Bethlehem. Isn't that the one they sing about? The one they call, Oh Little Town of Bethlehem? Yes, it's the same one they sing about. I really like that song. They even sing about how the silent stars go by in it. Listen, I think someone's going to sing it now. They named him Jesus. 
which means the Lord saves. And now, for the first time, up in the sky there was a new star, announcing the birth of the Messiah. Look, I think they're going to sing again. They do that a lot at Christmas time. You get used to it. When they had seen him, 
they spread the word and returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Glory to God in the highest. Yes, yes, we'll get you some cookies. Come on. <laughs> 